Hello friends, today we will learn about LSA type 7. Earlier we have learned about LSA type 4 and type 5. LSA type 7 is generated in NSC area. There are different types of area according to system design. Whatever routes you want to propagate in a area to define your system accordingly. So there are different types of area in OSPF like stub, totally stub, NSSA and totally NSSA. So if you will create an area as a stub then uh, it will not allow any external route to enter in that area. If we create this area as a stub, then no route will be able, no external route will be available. So, if you want that, no route should be available in area 1, but it should be available on area 2. So, what we have to create? We have to create this area, not a stub. We have to create this area as an SSA so that external route is available to area 2. So, to show the differences, what we will do, we will just create this area as, firstly we will create it as a stub, then we will see the routes, external routes is available on router 7 or not, or area 2, and then we will create each NSSA, then we will check where, whether we are getting external routes or not. Ideally, when we make this area as a stub, then in router 7, there should be no external routes, but when we create this as a NSSA, then router 4 will have type 7 LSA whereas external route is advertised to router 7 as a type 5 LSA because this type 7 LSA is generated by this ASBR and the ABR converts that type 5, uh, type 7 LSA to type 5 and same way it is raised to type uh, this router 7 so firstly what I will do I will create this area as a stub area then we will see so basic configuration what we have done is same as we have done in our previous lab so I will show you the basic configuration uh, on which router I have, we will do configuration we will show the basic configuration in that router before doing any changes on area type just as a normal area I will check what router what LSA I am getting in this router 4 so IP OSPF database so here this type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 5 LSA are available if you will go to router 7 then you will check so IP OSPF database so same way these routes uh, type 4 and type 5 LSA are available there now what I am going to do I am going to make this area step so I will fire this uh, area 1 stub commands in router 3, router 2 and router 4. So in router 3 I will go router OSPF 1 area 1 stub. As soon as you fire this command your neighborship will go down because for neighborship that area flex would also match. So here if it is in a stub area, then these routers should also be in a stub area, then only it will create neighborship. So once we will configure this as a step, then neighborship will come again. Now in router 2, uh, area 1 step. Similarly, in router 4 also, config router OSPF 1 area 1 stub now I will check routes on so IP now I will check LSA on router 4 then earlier this type 5 LSA is available after some times when this uh, they will sync again then this this uh, right now you are uh, as it is a stub so type 5 LSA is not available here same way we will check on router 7 also so IP OSP database earlier these LSA 4 and 5 was available but once you will check right now it is not available because we have made this as a stub now what we are going to do we will make this as a NSSA then what will be the result in router 4 we will get type 7 LSA and these type 7 LSA when it is reached to router 2 it will convert it into type 5 LSA and this will lead to router 7 so just I will remove old, uh, old command no 
area one stub and make it as a area one as a NSSA. I will go in route three also. No area one stub area one NSSA. Same way, I will go on router four also. Okay. So we have made for uh, this area as a NSSA. Now I will go on router 4 and check. So I will database. So here if you will check, you will get instead of router 5. Earlier you are getting when you make this router 5 LSA as well. When you make it as a stub, but when you make it as an NSSA, NSSA, then this so now it is having type 7 LSA now if you go on router 7 and check so IP USB database now again it is having same type 5 LSA because this router 2 has advertised this type 5 LSA and it has converted type 7 LSA into type 5 LSA so here the advertisement router is 5.5.5.5 5 .5 means router 5 it is a just why because it is a uh, that, that that was LSA type 4 which is generated by this ABR and if you will check type 5 the advertising router is this 2.2.2.1 because it has converted that LSA type 7 into LSA type 5 so for this it will it will it will send all requests to this router then it will convert that into type 7 and it will send to external routes so this is lsa type 7 i think this is helpful for you if you want to know about more about lsa please keep watching our next video thank you